is Andrew Terranova. How you doing? This is Doug Griggs. And let's talk robots. Doug, why don't you, uh, you want to share uh, a little bit about what Let's Make Robots means to you? I think I was on Stumble Upon, and I wound up on the Start Here Robot at Let's Make Robots.com. Right. And um, I just went headlong into this huge community of people who just uh, love sharing technology and uh, just doing things together, just doing great things, uh, working together to make just sweet robots I and mean, just stuff that you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Yeah, Let's Make Robots is just an amazing community. Just looking to uh, gain knowledge, build off one another. It's not a do-it-yourself website, it's a do-it-together one. And I, I fully believe that. I think that's why we should support it as a community. Just by coming and joining the site, you, you, you've you already demonstrated that you're a talented person just by the right. spark of interest that you have. Most of the people who come and join the site and stay are um, are pretty cool and interesting people who uh, who wind up Succeeding at what they want to accomplish. Right, absolutely. It, it takes a little nudging from some of the other members sometimes, but it definitely does always happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think um, one of the cool things about the community is how many young people come into it with. Oh, yeah. You know, they come in with lots of drive and energy, um, but not always a lot of direction. Yeah, um, for sure. My favorite one is the younger kids with projects and like, you know, I want to do this for a science fair, but I have no idea how to do it. And, you know, just people swarm over challenges and stuff like that. They love it. <laughs> uh, or, you know, sometimes you can see that somebody comes in and they've got, you know, unrealistic ideas about, you know, well, I've never programmed before or <laughs> built anything, but I want to make a intelligent walking robot, you know, that's an AI, you know, an artificial yeah. intelligence. <laughs> Okay, that's a good goal. Um, you got to break it down into some smaller steps. <laughs> you know, well, and you know, we you don't want to tell somebody they can't do something. Um, right. uh, I don't know how well you know Patrick McCabe, who's on the site. Uh, I think I've spoken a little bit. Yeah. So Patrick's one of those people who came on here as a fairly young guy, probably fourteen or fifteen years old, and. Uh, you know, one of the, he did a few things early on, I mean, he, he, he wasn't like his first project, but fairly early on he wanted to make a, a chess playing robot, and uh, it's a pretty ambitious project, and as he was describing it, um, you know, not everybody, in, including I'll admit myself, uh, had a lot of confidence that he was going to be able to accomplish it, but uh, he did. You know, he's gone on to build uh, a lot more cool stuff, and... Uh, now, uh, just very recently, he announced that he had been accepted to uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technologies. Yeah, yeah, that was a big one. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, so that, I mean, that's such a great success story to see somebody, you know, just from the, come from the start and, uh, and achieve that, that great uh, accomplishment. So, mm -hmm. I'm sure he's going to continue making us all look bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the old Let's Make Ro Robots website, we're on version 3 of it, and we've got so many users, we get, we have over 10,000, between 10 and 17,000 actual named registered users on the site, and then we have thousands of visitors every day to the site, uh, over 3.3 million visitors in the four years of uh, Let's Make Robots life. So. All of that traffic, all of that attention, all of those projects that get posted and question, form questions that get posted, uh, all of the communication, you know, that takes up a lot of resources and all of that is donated for free. Well, it costs money, but people have provided it. A few uh, key individuals have maintained and, and kept Let's Make Robots alive. Well. The exciting news is that there's a Let's Make Robots version 4 in the works, and it desperately needs to get done because the old website actually sometimes has performance issues. Uh, we, we, we can't keep it up the way it is. It's got to, uh, it, it's got to be fixed. It's got to be updated and replaced. So there is a, a fundraiser out there for Let's Make Robots version 4, and uh, there's, a, um, it's, there's a website, um, there's a link, letsmakerobots.com slash donate. You know, if, if you visited the site, if it means anything to you, 
um, or if you just want to support a great uh, community of, uh, of hobbyists, if you'd like to support that sort of thing, and you can spare just a few bucks, every dollar counts. So please do visit letsmakerobots.com slash donate and, uh, and come, uh, come help out. Oh, I, I almost totally forgot. Not that you need a better reason to donate, but right now we've got great prizes, uh, draw, a drawing for uh, five great prizes. So if you needed a reason to donate, um, you'll be entered into a drawing. Every donation gets a chance to win. So uh, try your luck. Spread the word. Tell your friends. Tell family. Maybe they'll care enough to kick in two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, ten. You know, just to help out. And um, so spread the word. Get it out there. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.